Hey guys, uh, welcome to One Minute CM. We have Ritesh Pandya from Bangalore, uh, who's a cheerleader for uh, a group, a notorious group called uh, Normal is Boring. They believe that uh, being normal is definitely boring, and they're encouraging a lot of members to share uh, what they feel like sharing. Uh, Ritesh is also uh, a founder of uh, Anoma Inc. Uh, he runs this particular brand and uh, he also is a cheerleader for his own brand which is more into apparels and t-shirts. Uh, he loves to play golf. He's always around horses. Not sure the reason why. <laughs> <laughs> the, the length goes on. The, you know, he's also shooting some uh, short films now. Uh, uh, you know, they're, they're always up to doing something which is weird and, you know, which is encouraging to others, which is entertaining to others. I, I have a question and the rapid fire question as to what is one thing which they have not done. Uh, so thank, thank you, Ritesh, uh, for, you know, joining us from Bangalore. And, you know, I know you've been having hectic schedules on creating something new and exciting for uh, us during this particular situation. Uh, and glad that you're also preparing face masks, uh, you know, for... Uh, you know, Karnataka, which will help uh, a lot of, uh, you know, outlets out there. So thanks for joining in. Maybe you can give a detailed overview of, you know, what are you up to and, you know, what, how you started this, uh, you know, making everything abnormal or, you know, making us realize that, hey, tum log, just calm mat karo, iske saath kuch aur bhi karo. Kaam ke saath masti bhi karo. Uh, kaam ke saath masti bhi karo. <laughs> Absolutely. Firstly, uh, Ravi, thank you so much uh, for the wonderful uh, introduction that you gave me. I've never uh, felt so important in my life, uh, you know, <laughs> with the introduction where you went on and on. Uh, feels good. And um, and it's, it's an honor to be on uh, your show, uh, One Minute CM. Uh, I've heard, I heard quite a lot about it and, uh, you know, I'm, uh, you know, privileged to be uh, here. And um, I know what do you say? I'm I'm just a guy next door. That's about it. And uh, I know nothing more to say. Uh, otherwise, uh, you know, we um, uh, you know, like you mentioned that you know, my bread and butter business is Anoma INC. We manufacture customized apparel, and mm -hmm. um, you know, we work with a lot of schools and you know, corporates and hospitals. And uh, with the COVID uh, situation coming in. Um, you know, we had to keep our operations uh, going. So, you know, we diversified into, uh, you know, making of masks. So that's where, uh, uh, and uh, personal protection kits. So, you know, it, it helped us uh, in terms of uh, sustaining uh, through uh, difficult times, you know, like, uh, you know, there are a lot of layoffs that happened and, you know, we added uh, employees in, uh, you know, this, uh, in the last couple of months. So that's been a positive for us and uh, you know uh, i and you know that's related to work and other than we do a lot of fun stuff um, i run to uh, i run a page on uh, facebook called normal is boring and mm -hmm. uh, along with this i run um, uh, rather i run a group called normal is boring and a page called beardo weirdo along with uh, shrieker and uh, you know, it's basically a non-judgmental uh, group NIB where uh, people can uh, uh, be themselves without being judged. And uh, we live in a very judgmental, intolerant uh, society. Um, so the group, uh, it's very clear on the group that, uh, uh, you know, it is, uh, uh, you know, no politics, no religion, just fun page. That's about it. So we started this group when uh, I was in uh, Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. So way back in 2011, and uh, um, you know, just just fun fun bit, you know, to share uh, jokes for a selected few uh, people uh, in my friends list and their friends, you know, because not everybody would appreciate. Uh, you know, those days WhatsApp was not very popular. We we all had BlackBerry messengers, and you know uh things like that so you know whatever would come there we thought you know let's create a facebook group and uh you know we shared stuff on facebook it worked really well and you know it was it, 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 it was always a secret group and um you know so that whatever you post is uh, viewed only by the members and not anybody outside or not anybody from your timeline as well so it worked really well for us and uh, uh you know we are now around twenty thousand five hundred members we're like growing slowly. We're not in the race of uh, 
uh, numbers uh, as such <clears throat> you know um, we we have uh, out of 20500 members we have around 18800 active members who either like comment or post at least mm-hmm. one who have liked commented or posted in the last uh, uh, 30 days mm-hmm. so that's a good number we feel uh, where you know we have 90% of the group active and yeah. uh, in some other the way that that's nice and you know one best thing about this particular group uh, uh, ritesh is uh, i find that you know people can talk about uh, you know naughty stuff adult stuff without any you know hesitation including women uh, they have the freedom to you know speak uh, and you know uh, represent themselves and you know the way you're moderating and managing the group where they're comfortable that that's really admirable because they're there are very few uh, such uh, locations uh, where you know people women can also express themselves you know frankly absolutely so, absolutely the whole idea of the group is uh, you know uh, that it's a non judgmental uh, page or uh, a group where uh, you know you're not judged by what you speak you're here for humor and mm-hmm. uh, if you say something that doesn't mean that uh, you know you are that okay True. or you may be that in your daily life it could be xyz uh, things and um, you know uh, people don't understand the fine line between uh, you know being naughty adult humor and vulgarity there's a fine line you know you need to draw that line somewhere and uh, uh, you know people uh, just go overboard sometimes uh, in terms of commenting and uh, things like that especially the boy uh, mostly the boys uh, so uh, and you know we block them uh, so you know that's where uh, you know uh, you know the, the ladies feel safe uh, out of 20500 members we have 16000 uh, who are women and uh, we have around 150000 uh, people blocked <laughs> that's like 10 times 10x of uh, actual users uh, absolutely so you know the moment we get to know uh, now that there's somebody who's not uh, who doesn't belong here they just get blocked that's about it so we won them once and i have a great team uh, who uh, we work with uh, mm-hmm. who we work together i see this uh, this is not like uh, uh, we don't earn money out of it right so uh, you know still you know everybody gives in their time and effort um, in terms of moderating the group to keep it clean as clean as possible uh, but then there are issues you know that come up on and off we try to address it being fair but um, you know we're not ice cream sellers that we can keep everybody happy so uh, you know so that's uh, that's the thing so we we somehow try and balance it out as much as possible yeah and and uh, you know most importantly as uh, the owners or the moderators of this particular group you know you are always super energetic i, I envy you know both your profiles uh, you know that's also important you know you uh, know somebody creating a group and just making people uh, you know discuss stuff is not enough you you are almost showcasing yourself on a regular basis saying that hey this is also possible so that that's really commendable no actually i mean uh, uh, see the idea uh, the whole idea is uh, to go live you know we, i like talking to people and uh, you know we do a facebook live at least once a week minimum once a week uh, sometimes we do it like three times a week also so uh, uh, and uh, during the covid times we probably went live every day doing uh, different things uh, on the group uh, which i'll share uh, shortly as to you know how we kept the whole group entertained so you know, it was fun and uh, you know uh, online interaction is the key you just cannot create a group add members and uh, you know leave it dead so i mean there are a lot of uh, people uh, from normal is boring uh, who created other groups also mm-hmm. so uh, you know that's there i mean that happens everywhere you know the, the moment there's something innovative that happens there are a lot of people who try to replicate it and stuff but then you know we get feedback from uh, people who are there in all the other groups also sing boss yeah there are other groups but you know the energy the passion that uh, you know uh, the team of nib that comes with you know me shrikar dipti rohit uh shushma dipali jayant so we are the team uh, co team who's there and then we have you know people who are non moderators also who support us um, you know i mean not everybody needs to be a moderator so we have people like you know sayed kazi maga reshma yatish so these are all you know at any point of time we uh, we all get together 
you know, decide as to what to do, uh, any event that we are planning and things like that. So these are the guys who help us out, uh, 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 you know, selflessly. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I I, I take the I mean, uh, it's a uh, you know, I take I I would take the um, you know liberty of uh, uh, telling that you know my, uh, we have a great team and uh, you know through your uh, live session that you know I love you guys who are uh, supporting us, my whole uh, NIB moderators team and you know the non moderators who support us also. <laughs> That's, that's nice, guys. And, you know, all the, the team members behind the scene, you know, please, thanks a lot. I mean, this is really admirable. Uh, admirable. And, uh, Ritesh, uh, please talk about your Afghanistan days before we start with the rapid fire question and the one minute CM question. Okay. Uh, so, Afghanistan, I, I moved to Afghanistan in 2009. Um, I joined a telecom company there called uh, Russian Telecom. So, mm -hmm. Russian Telecom is run by uh, the Aga Khan Foundation. So, uh, you know, it's a great company to work with. Uh, they took superb care of us uh, when we were there. And, uh, you know, Afghanistan is not exactly the way it is portrayed to us. The people are really friendly and they love people from India. So, you know, it's a very friendly uh, nation, amazing people. And India has done some fantastic work uh, there. So we have Indira Gandhi hospitals running there, uh, you know, free of cost for uh, the Afghans. And we built a hydroelectric dam, uh, electricity project outside of uh, Kabul called uh, at Karga. The dam has created the huge lake called Karga Lake. So, I mean, all these pictures are there on my Facebook profile. And uh, I mean, the moment you walk into uh, the dam, you see the Afghan flag and the Indian flag flying there simultaneously. And uh, with uh, on a stone uh, uh, carving, it's written there. Um, we thank the people of uh, the Republic of India who have helped us in constructing this dam and, you know, providing electricity to uh, Kabul city. So, you know, you feel really proud, you know, when you see such things uh, outside of India. And, you know, and the, the kind of people, they are they're so warm and friendly. Uh, the moment they get to know that you're from India, I mean, the way they speak Hindi, but the way we speak Hindi, they get to, they, they don't even need to ask, are you from India? They'll say, okay, which part of India are you from? And, you know, I'll say I'm from Bangalore and uh, just like, oh, Royal Challenges, Bangalore. And, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, they, they, they know things about us and uh, you know, they, they know Rajnikanth. So they, I mean, the moment mm -hmm. you say Bangalore, South of India, they related to movies and Rajnikanth and uh, things like that. So, um, uh, and it was, it was difficult. Uh, uh, we were under a 60 day lockdown here and people were, you know, we were always under a lockdown there. So, <laughs> So you know, you, every time you move around, you move around with security, and uh, the moment you move around with security, uh, they know. Okay, these uh, you know uh, the anti-social elements know that. Okay, these are some important guys. So you are always on target, and uh, you know it, it's difficult. And uh, you know every night you hear gunshots and uh, you know choppers hovering around, and it's it's not a very common sight. It was a war zone basically. So. We've experienced, uh, you know, explosions within close uh, proximity. Um, you know, April fifteenth, two thousand twelve, and May second, two thousand twelve were like two. I mean, very close, very close. Since the exact the next building of our office was attacked on April fifteenth, and second May, the compound that we live itself was attacked. Uh, so, and everything went on for like six hours, eight hours. You're hiding in the bunker, and there are explosions happening on top, and. Uh, like crazy. I mean, yeah, I see I'm getting goosebumps as I'm talking about this. <laughs> Lovely time. So, <laughs> so, you know, it, it, uh, it is, it was tough, you know, those uh, mentally, especially the second, uh, um, uh, incident, it mm -hmm. uh, shook a lot of people, including me, uh, mentally. So it was uh, challenging, but, uh, you know, kya kare papi pet ka sawal tha. So, <laughs> And uh, you know, mm -hmm. I always say Jada Ye Thaki, Ye Likha Thaki, Ritish has to be alive so that you know he can take uh, you know, normal is boring to the next level. So, you know, yeah, for that, God has saved you <laughs> because you so I'm, I'm actually alive, I'm alive because I had to come on the one minute CM show, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so well, it was it was close, and you know uh, we were we were taken care of very well by the company uh, at the company where I worked. I mean, uh, even uh, during uh, the attacks, our security 
team, our security directors were fantastic and phenomenal. The way they, uh, you know, manage the situations and uh, stuff. The so work-wise, uh, I mean, not a lot of people know that uh, you know Afghanistan is a very beautiful country. I mean, um, you would you would not find uh, places like uh, that even in India. I mean, uh, what you see in Afghanistan, it was uh, Kabul was at a point of time in uh, 60s and 70s called as the Paris of the East. Okay. So it is so beautiful. It's surrounded by snow-capped mountains throughout the year, just like Zurich is in uh, Switzerland. And uh, you know things, uh, you know, and it snows extremely heavily there in uh, winters, and temperature goes to like minus twenty-five, minus twenty-eight. Wow. So you know, people, and it never gets hot. It's just like twenty-eight, twenty-nine degrees is like it'll be in the newspaper that okay, yesterday was twenty-nine degrees, thirty degrees. <laughs> Good, so good. that was it, and then um, uh, uh, people are good, warm. Uh, you go to walk into a store, and you know if the guy gets to know you're from India, he will not take money from you. So we had to just leave cash there and walk out. If you go to buy something, they like us so much to that extent. They like India is the only country which is not uh, taken part in the war in mm -hmm. Afghanistan. We've always built roads, we built dams, and you know we built a parliament uh, which uh, they work out of now. And uh, we've constructed, uh, we've played a big role in constructing that airport. So you know, that that way they respect us quite a lot. And of course, all our entertainment, uh, 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 you know, the whole of Bollywood is there. And now all with all the uh, movies that are dubbed here, uh, uh, you know, into Hindi are all uh, played there. So, you know, that is uh, on there as well. So, you know, they relate to every bit of it. They know in and out. You know, uh, they they say, uh, sir, humne pani puri sirf uh, TV mein dekha hai. How does it taste? <laughs> Pao bhaji kaise taste hota hai? Can you make it here? You know, the team member, our, my team members would ask me you know, things like that. And every time we would come uh, on home leave, you know, we would, we would have a list of things. It's like, you know, get us this, get us this, get us this. You know, we like this from India. We like this from India. <laughs> like, sure, sure, sure. You know, not to worry at all. We'll surely, uh, you know, get stuff. I mean. I would uh, love, uh, uh, you know, all the all the Afghans there, and uh, and you know, we've uh, I, I had a lot of Pakistani colleagues, the great bunch of guys to hang out with, and you know, uh, play cricket with. Um, um, the 2011 World Cup uh, semi-final match, which was played in Mohali, we're like, you know, Indians and Pakistanis, you know, we watched the whole cricket match together on a big screen. So all we like 15, 20 Indians were wearing the India T-shirt. And they were like, uh, you know, some 30, 40 uh, people uh, of my Pakistani colleagues wearing Pakistani t-shirts. It was a havoc, you know, watching the match sure, with them. So people in India are texting me, you know, I'm watching the match at the club. I'm watching the match with my friends. I'm watching the match here. I said, guys, you watch the match wherever. I'm watching a match with Pakistanis and we won the match. So I saw their <laughs> reaction on the face you guys did not in India. <laughs> <laughs> so that was fun, and I mean, I made great friends there. Who, you know, uh, guys who are from Pakistan. You know, uh, hats off. I mean, the super sense of humor, and uh, you know, baki though all this is political. You know, uh, what goes on. You know, the hatred which the politicians uh, spread. So I, I made great friends. You know, we we are in touch even now. Uh, so it, you know, that was that was a, that was one of the good uh, things about. Uh, you know, meeting. I met a lot of people from. Uh, I mean, in in my uh, in in our company itself where I work, uh, we had people from uh, forty seven nationalities working there. Oh, that's, that's so you, you make friends from Philippines, you make friends from Canada, and you know, uh, a lot of people from Africa. So it was it was great. I mean, you you get to know about different cultures. See, the whole thing is you're working together, then you stay together also in the same compound. So you're like. Practically 24 hours 7, uh, you know, you guys are around there. So we have some compliments coming in. Uh, so Priya Murthy, uh, Geeta Pandya. Uh, yeah. Geeta Pandya is my mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Andy ji. And uh, yeah, so Pratish, uh, so before we move on to the rapid fire questions and uh, the main question of about one minute CM. So, Anything you want to mention, or shall we jump into the question session? No, let's let's start. Let's start. Let's start. I mean, I would, I would, I uh, the only thing I would mention is I'd like to thank you for uh, choosing me from uh, 
uh, you know, I'm sure you have a list of uh, people who would want to be on your show. I'm privileged to uh, be here. So that's that's about it. Yeah, you are so ho, Ritesh. So you are a person who is, you know, uh, above the rat race. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we start here. Uh, so I'll, I'll quickly uh, tell you a few uh, names of uh, celebrities. Uh, you have to define them in a word or a sentence. Okay. okay. So the first person is Amitabh Bachchan. Big B. Amir. Perfect. Ranveer. Uh, Deepika's husband. Hrithik. Uh, Kangana's ex-boyfriend. Okay. Irfan. Irfan. Uh, I, I, I'm lost of words for him. He's a great guy. That I, all I can say is that. Okay. Uh, Sanjay Dutt. Bhai. Okay. Uh, Madhuri Dikshit. Hot. Priyanka Chopra. Plastic. Okay. Alia Bhatt. Cute. Superb. And the last one, Katrina Kaif. Oh, sizzling. Okay, we have audience also answering <laughs> simultaneously for you, which is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> The first time uh, we are having that uh, the show, I mean, I'm not sure what is the other response for Kisser. Uh, that's Lalita. <laughs> okay, good one. So, yeah, next question. Describe yourself in two shades, Pritish and Pandya. Two different shades of Pritish and Pandya. Uh, shy. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, uh, I, I, I can never I can never open a conversation in real unless it's online. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't go walk up to somebody and start a conversation. Okay. Great. So the next question, what uh, what's something uh, about you which your group normal and boring? Normal is boring. Uh, the team members are not aware of. That I'm an introvert. Seriously? Yep. Okay. So yeah. my life is different. Uh -huh. My online life is different. My personal life is different. Yeah, I, I agree with that. So what we portray online or uh, you know on our profile might not be exactly the same. So yeah, some some Absolutely. always uh, you know shell happiness. You know though they have a lot of challenges behind the scenes. And some tend to always okay. went out quotes which are like always hurting that I've got hurt. Somebody said something, know. you know, ditched me and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, might have a happy life behind. So yeah, Absolutely. we have uh, comments, compliments coming about you. Uh, Pandya is brave. You know, yeah, yeah, some surprises coming in there. Your favorite location <laughs> and in terms of nature, I, I've seen that you spend a lot of time. Uh, in the outskirts of Bangalore, and you know, so uh -huh. you know, what's your favorite location? Is that the location, or do you have any favorite location across India, or the locations you've traveled in terms of nature? Uh, in terms of nature, I like. Uh, there's a small hill station in Himachal called Dal Dalhousie. Mm -hmm. So I like that uh, place quite a bit um, because uh, it's not very commercial, very scenic. Very few people. You can just be yourself. You can explore the place. You can trek. And uh, now I've been there a couple of times. Uh, I love the place. Nice. So, what is your favorite beverage? Coffee. Okay. And and chai. And <laughs> <laughs> old monk. <laughs> old monk. Okay. Yep. So you old guys... monk with coke. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. Old monk with thumbs up. Okay. I think your favorite, happy. your favorite selfie moment where the other person, your fans, you know, who see you uh, in a restaurant or you know outside. So your closest selfie moment, jahan bahut chipak ke selfie liye liya gaya tha. 
तो बहुत कॉन्ट्रोवर्शियल क्वेश्चन है बहुत तो मेरे घर पे प्रॉब्लम हो गए सेल्फी मोमेंट्स की वजह से सी क्वेश्चन नॉर्मल नहीं होने चाहिए इट शुड डेफिनेटली बी यू नो समथिंग हट के सो so we had uh, i mean i remember on my birthday uh, just one day after my birthday we had uh, one of our nib uh, meetups okay. and uh, you know everybody is like coming and saying oh, happy birthday new year hug is a selfie as a as a as a lord then you know after you know after 3 4 days you know when um, Now my wife is going through all the pictures like ye yeah, kya hai ye mere sath aisa photo nahi khincha hai public ke sath khincha <laughs> So, you know that's what i said i mean you got to be very careful um and no it it felt really good you know when the pictures were being clicked and you know at that time you don't think you know what could be the uh, you know repercussions of uh, uh, things and uh, uh, then it is it is good i mean uh, feels good but then uh, now i'm ca- more cautious you know thoda thoda one arm distance ke sath kal bhi lo so any any male encounters like you know you you are like that macho man both of you you and uh, shrikar and you know any uh, indications ah uh, not really honestly no not really i have not got it i don't know about shrikar okay a- any weird thing or incident that you have encountered in a flight on a flight okay once uh, there was uh, a fly- i don't know i was flying to amdabad and uh, you know there was extremely high turbulence turbulence mm-hmm. in the sense uh, the pilot is like uh, you know it's going to be it's going to be a very 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 difficult next 10 minutes this was his announcement he said very 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 five times so we guys were like uh, you know I, i was i was alone in my row and i'm like you know what the hell is um, you know this announcement and it was i've never felt i mean i've taken so many flights Uh, india abroad here there I never felt this kind of turbulence and at a point of time it it just add dropped you know it's like some 700 800 feet just down and i'm like okay aaj to gaye and uh, you know from the time flight gained control i sent one uh, you know message to my uh, family you know so if agar plane crash bhi ho gaya mobile se you know network aayega to jayega message that was the last message from my husband from my son from my uh, you know brother that kind of uh, stuff and that was it was actually scary you know scary there were a lot of fun moments uh, uh, on the flight so uh, you know we had uh, you know i was you know i usually I'm, i'm the first guy to enter the aircraft okay uh sabse pehle ja ke i'll go sit on my seat and i'll sleep okay you know, and, you know if i'm flying it, it would have been such way that okay the 2 hours 2 and 1/2 hours wherever i'm going i have to sleep and coming mm-hmm. back also i'll sleep so i'll sleep and i was like front row i just asleep it was like uh, this girl comes and wakes me up like you're ritesh from nib right uh normal is boring uh, i was flying to hyderabad and uh, i'm like yeah it's like uh, uh, okay fine <laughs> i was asleep she wakes me up <laughs> and i'm uh, like okay then after the flight when we you know got off and you know waiting for the bus to come then uh, she like you know can we take a selfie and uh, i said okay you know so i said like, can i post this on the group i said yeah please you're most welcome uh, to do it i mean it, it it's uh, you know it, it 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 is fun it is fun good good one so what was that message what was the content of the message which you shared with your family okay it was more like uh, you know i'm i'm not sure if i'm going to come out alive out of uh, this uh, aircraft and uh, if i've been a bad son or a bad husband or a bad brother please forgive me and uh, you know take care of my kids the very serious message actually mm-hmm. i mean you can imagine the intensity of uh, you know the the you know the turbulence that was there usually i'm a very you know stable kind of guy you know i say or afghanistan mein bomb blast sab dekh liya hai close vicinity se to you know we can you know yeah, you see it's like everything in life <laughs> sab kuch dekh liya this is nothing I mean, sort of then this was like you know another level of fear yeah we have some compliments coming for you simultaneously so i was just going through that uh So next question uh, name a few 
school bags and the stickers which you had stickers or cartoons or images that you had uh, that you remember from your school days so i had uh, he man mm -hmm. he man and the masters of the universe you get a sword out and uh, you know uh, i was a big fan of uh, he man and uh, you know we would um, you know we had this um, uh, you know in the stationery shops you would get these square stickers you know and one one feet you know one this kind of uh, uh, you know square you have like seven eight stickers and things like that then we would collect those stickers and you know they put uh, how, who has more stickers in their book or on their bag or usually it should be inside the geometry box you know hmm. that should be the place for you know putting your stickers inside yeah so you know then uh, yeah, that that uh, he man was one and then you know you had the wwf now which was wwe those days you know probably when i was in class 6 7 you know that was like uh, so you know uh, you had uh, who are the guys oh, so this rock and all came much later so those mm -hmm. days you had yokozuna and tatanka and all those guys i don't even know if people would relate to those things you know like, <laughs> initial days of wwe then you had uh, hitman uh, then you had all these undertaker undertaker has been there uh, you know mm -hmm. since the uh, beginning i mean he's probably the longest uh, serving uh, or longest uh, player who's you know been there on wwe for the longest amount of time so those stickers would be like uh, you know pretty appealing and of course so, then you come to class 9 and 10 and then you know, then you have manisha koirala and madhuri dikshit and <laughs> all those you know you you graduate yeah, yeah. right yeah i had madonna the large uh -huh. life size door you know behind my door so anybody who opens the door they not see anything as soon as they close the door you have uh, madonna behind. so i, I had i had uh, uh, i should like manisha koirala a lot i don't know why those days uh, so i had a big poster of hers and uh, i should like salman I, I still like salman khan rather uh, for you know the kind of comedy uh, movies that he does though most of them are senseless the movies but uh, you know he's a out and out entertainer no hmm. no jazz you know he knows three hours people come to the theater you know they don't want to cry they don't want to you know do anything they just want masti enjoy and go anyways life is very stressful otherwise so <laughs> okay so there's playing snooker uh, that is one of the activities oh yeah i played a lot of snooker see my mom is reminding yeah. me <laughs> yeah yeah abhi ghar pe nahi rehta tha har dam late aata tha snooker khelta i know that's what alert message so, okay so my dad also come online hi dad oh mr ashok hi <laughs> hello sir <laughs> that's nice so and the best yeah. part you know best part of nib is both my parents are there in the group also <clears throat> should be very tough <laughs> <laughs> okay what do you plan by the rivers baby loan by the rivers of babylon that's a very nice song actually Okay, sorry, I have not heard that. So, good, good one. Thank, thanks for the good one. <laughs> so next question. Uh, yes, sir. Comfort wear. Pardon? What's your comfort wear? Uh, shorts and t-shirt. Okay. What's your life mantra? Live and let live. Okay. Favorite drunk moment. I have two actually. So okay. uh, this happened, uh, you know, this will be revealing some Kabul secrets. So, mm -hmm. so I had made great friends there. So we were, uh, this is um, a really close buddy of mine. Uh, I work with him in Airtel as well, uh, me, Shrikar, and uh, his name is Ajay. So Ajay uh, is from Bangalore. So we could, uh, uh, you know, relate and we'd work together in Airtel. So, you know, when you go uh, out of India, so my first connect was Ajay. So the, because Ekto, same, we are from Bangalore, you know, worked in the same company. Though I didn't work with him very closely in Airtel here. It was just high by, not even high by, okay, okay, department mein Ajay hai types. You know, I knew him. So we became great friends after going to Kabul and there's uh, Amjad and uh, Ravi Singh. And Sumit, Sumit Arora. So we guys usually, uh, so Friday, Saturday is holiday there, uh, being uh, an Islamic country. So Thursday night is our Saturday night, like how Saturday night for Bangalore. 
<laughs> <laughs> Thursday night we guys, you know, had a few drinks and uh, Ravi was a little high and we like, okay, चलो Ravi को छोड़ के आता है उसके घर. So उसके घर is like three blocks from our house. So you know, no vehicles. You have to just walk and drop him. So the moment we got out of Sumit's house, so I just like my scooter चालू करता हूँ. तुम लोग बैठो. So there's a virtual <laughs> scooter that starts. <laughs> three of us sit on the scooter. Ajay is the fourth guy. And we actually run. <laughs> Ajay is holding the handle like this. <laughs> we all go, <laughs> and he takes us to the gym. Then we get into the gym there, and it was like at two a.m. We turn the lights on in the gym, and uh, you know, so you have this uh, huge uh, exercise ball that is that the medicine ball, whatever you call it. I'm not a gym guy, so uh, I don't know a lot of stuff. So uh, Ravi is like, "Chalo, we football khelte." Okay. So with that ball, that huge ball, he started kicking the ball from one side to the other side, and there's a TT table there. The ball goes on that. The net is broken down, and you know all such things. And we we taken a few videos also of that. You know because uh, 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 so you know the videos were really hilarious and uh, fun. So we did all of it, and uh, you know next day when uh, you know we woke up in the morning, Friday morning. So Friday morning used to be a dosa morning there. So I used to make dosas for I, I love making dosas. So I used to take these MTR ready mixes, go there, and you know Friday morning nine to nine thirty, nine forty five, I'll make like some twenty thirty dosas for all the Indian uh, South Indian folks, especially there who miss uh, you know uh, dosa. So uh, so f- and making dosa, you know, there's uh, on messenger group there is thing. Somebody has broken the table tennis uh, net, and you know the table was uh, you know not in its place and all. And we guys are like, oh my god, kya kya? Ja ke videos dekhe. I'm like, oh my god, you know, we guys are crazy. <laughs> so this was fun. This was one of uh, you know the incidents uh, that happened, and one was in uh, Dubai. So we guys used to we every month we used to go to Dubai because our head office was there. Hmm. and uh, one of the evenings uh, you know we guys got uh, uh, really uh, you know we had a party and uh, you know koi aur paise de raha tha to of course thode do drinks zyada pee liye sabne so <laughs> so then uh, we guys uh, uh, you know we guys uh, 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 you know we had a lot of fun for like 3 hours 4 hours i didn't remember a thing in the morning so you know then amjad is like you know you you refused to get out of uh, the taxi there and you said you wanted to go back and dance uh, inside at the club and uh, we like no the club is closed now you got to go back and sleep <laughs> <laughs> so that was fun i mean uh, uh, overly I, i i i don't drink a lot so you know i don't have a lot of drunk moments so these two were uh, you know oh, uh, even probably the kabul one i was not high so i i i i took the video so i knew what uh, i was doing so Yeah. So I'm also planning, yeah, I'm also planning something like this where you know I have one guest who is like completely drunk. So please do you know recommend if somebody is drunk, I can go live any moment, okay, and ask rapid fire questions and one minute CM question to somebody who's like completely, you know, tull. We'll do it. We'll do it. You you want me to do it? Probably you know uh, you know one of the evenings uh, you know I'll get one whole mo- bottle of Old Monk. and uh, we'll start drinking virtually and then when you think i'm tipsy you can go live <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> you can do that yeah we have some questions also coming in uh, please let us know what is the naughtiest thing that ritesh has done which uh, oh. nip is aware of so <laughs> oh okay the lot of things uh, you know one uh, one of the things uh, i remember uh, is, uh, See, as a kid, you know, you did a lot of childish stuff, uh, naughty things. But uh, after growing up, um, um, so I, um, around ten years ago, or ten, twelve, two thousand six, two thousand seven, eight, three years, I used to work for a company called Wi-Fi Networks. Mm-hmm. After Airtel, I moved in there, and uh, you know, uh, my boss was Shrikar, who is my beard of beard of partner now. So I used to report to Shrikar. and uh, we guys are like uh, it was uh, april 1st and we had another colleague from airtel who joined us on april 1st hmm. so it was dinesh so dinesh joins us and uh, while having lunch i'm like sticker app kuch uh, ek prank karte aaj april 1st hai 
किसको यू नो थोड़ा यू नो दैट वील फूल समबडी एंड वी लाइक ओके देन आई टोल्ड हिम सी आई हैव एन आईडिया सी दिनेश इज जस्ट जॉइंड हिम यू एक्ट एज अ सो यू नो वी वर अ मिड साइज कंपनी सो यू नो वी हैड लाइक द एचआर टीम वुड रिपोर्ट इनटू श्रीकर आल्सो राइट या Uh, you had we had these uh, two ladies who used to be there uh, in hr and uh, so dinesh had just joined and so humne bola dinesh dinesh to the atel days se jante the you know i am an ex atel shrikar is ex atel dinesh so dinesh ko bole yaar uh, tu kuch bolna mat hr ko and then hmm. me and shrikar uh, i said you just sit in your place looking upset and then uh, shrikar calls these two uh, uh, girls inside and uh, he like uh, you know i'm absolutely disappointed with you and his computer is open and the girls are on the other side and he said see i've just got this email that uh, i'm disappointed with the joining formalities at uh, wifi networks and so there's no email but he read out the whole uh, you know one whole paragraph to them and those girls are like gone and they're like what the hell is happening what mistake did we do they like we go out and check and tabhi shrikar ko humne i mean it was decided that you'll give me a missed call that when it, when is it a good time for us to come in so by then when this thing was happening the whole marketing team and sales team had joined in they okay aise prank andar chal raha hai and we had to open the door and say april fool to these two girls of hr and trust me both the girls hate me even now <laughs> they you know फेसबुक पे फ्रेंड्स रिक्वेस्ट भेजा एक्सेप्ट भी नहीं किया दे हेट मी सो मच फॉर व्हाट वी डिड दैट डे एंड व्हेन आई ओपन द डोर सो यू नो द लेडी वाज हेडिंग एचआर एंड वी सेड अप्रैल फूल आई हर फेस हैड बिकम रेड यू नो इट्स लाइक बॉइलिंग दैट इफ शी हैड अ नाइफ शी वुड हैव किल्ड मी गुड वन सो दैट वाज दैट वाज दैट वाज प्रोबब्ली द क्रेजीएस्ट थिंग दैट यू नो वी हैव डन good so we have uh, a question from dr minali uh, she is saying your life changing uh, moment uh, during lockdown or thing well uh, uh, brunalini uh, honestly i was never under a lockdown in bangalore the day the lockdown was announced second day i had a pass and from the fifth day we were working so started making uh, masks and going to places uh, you know where uh, we could sell these masks so uh, you know uh, it was uh, uh, you know the life changing thing was the the one thing which i always tell people adaptability is the key so you know which i could implement it also during the lockdown probably that's life changing where you know we uh, we didn't have to uh, struggle too much to make sure our cash flows are in place see when you when you're running an organization vis a vis you're working so you know when you're running running an organization you need to make sure your salaries are paid your cash flows are intact uh, and a lot of things your top line bottom line management all that is key so that you know you pay uh, your od interest on time we're all small businessmen so i'm loan rehta hai ghar ka ye mai rehta hai bachcho ke fees rehte hai all those things are not impacted so i mean adaptability is a key that's what i learned and um, um we learned one thing that virtually we could make people laugh more during the lockdown yeah i i completely agree with that so i have seen a lot of humorous content which was like coming at all so in fact the first day when we had the janta curfew uh modi ji announced right the first one of the sundays he said right today aaj subah from from like what 6 in the morning to 9 in the night everybody has to be at home on one of the sundays so we we guys uh, you know shrikar and me with what we did was for normal is boring we had one challenge every hour so at 7 o'clock at 6 o'clock shrikar and me went live 6 am saying you know guys today is going to be fun and every hour we're going to be we're going to have a challenge and everybody uh, will have to uh, take part in the challenge so you know one day before we have we we asked a few members you know we didn't challenge anyone but there were other members challenging the group So we started from 7 a.m. 7 a.m. was a coffee challenge, saying, you know, oh, make show your uh, you know, show your skills of making coffee and post mm. a picture with your coffee or chai mug. So people started posting. So we had like some seven eight hundred people replying to it. Then nine o'clock was another challenge. Ten o'clock was another challenge. Da 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 da. We all went on to like nine o'clock in the night. Wow, that's nice. 
and that's nice of you that you you've uh, made this particular uh, you know group uh, open which was generally a private group you know during this particular pandemic you've decided to yeah. open for uh, open other up, yeah. you know people to join in so that that's really nice of you uh coming to the next question i i'll give a few hot topics or the uh, hot news of these days so you can talk about it and you know give a word like you've spoken about celebrities uh, or a sentence about it so okay. you've already discussed about uh, corona so uh, ban china or uh, chinese products what's your we cannot. we cannot not okay uh, we cannot i mean even even if, if even if any of us wish to we cannot mm -hmm. so we are so dependent on them right now yeah i mean see even if any country says ban india you cannot i mean because you know every country has its own uh, uh, you know resources from which you manufacture things right which we use so uh, you know most of the medicine that india manufactures you know raw material is imported from china yeah true so TikTok. Oh, I have no <laughs> it's one useless app. Okay. The elephant incident. Sad. Tourism. Oh, I feel sad for the tourism industry at this point of time because it's going to take at least a year or two for them to get back to what they were, you know, in 2019. Yeah. Donald Trump. Donald Trump, he's a hardcore politician come businessman. I like him. I know why people hate him. See, he's, he's, won, uh, he's won the election. Yeah? Come on. He's not like rigged it and uh, you know become the president, right? You do respect. That's it. Okay. Uh, Facebook? No, oh, I love it. Black Lives Matter. George Floyd. All the lives matter. No racism. We are very clear. All the lives matter. We believe in equality. Jai Lalita or Modi ji? Jai Lalita as Tamil Nadu Chief Minister, Modi ji as Prime Minister of India. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, what does she find most attractive about you? Who is she? <laughs> <laughs> so that's the reason it's it's not named no relationships nothing who you know what does she find most attractive about you are yaar hamare mein aisa koi talent hi nahi hai ki attractive ho kisi se so priya is being very diplomatic no no yeah. i'm being very honest this is like i'm i like i said i'm a very guy next door kind of a personality no no extraordinary talents yeah, yeah. you said simple you yeah. said that you were introvert none of the people who are watching this agree with it so i don't because know because they all see me only online no they've not met me in real okay, people are saying you're clever by not answering this uh... <laughs> Uh, I, I, I just I don't want to get beaten up once I open the door and go back to the living room where my wife and kids are probably watching this also. <laughs> yeah. So you have compliments from Priya. She is saying you are a complete package. So there's there's not a specific. Thank you so much. Thing. Yeah, but friends, you know, since Ritesh is not opening up, since you have seen Ritesh multiple times going live, so, you know, during this particular pandemic. i am sure uh, you have uh, you had the privilege of seeing in and out of him so feel free to mention you know <laughs> answer this so yeah uh, what does your wife call you at home uh she doesn't call me by any name before she calls i'm there oh my god <laughs> i'm a very patni vrata pati oh my god <laughs> and i'll let audience uh, poll for this so please uh, you know agree or do not agree you can you know put out on the comments here uh, what is that one investment uh, you know you would do in this particular situation buy stocks buy stocks okay yeah 
Good. Uh, what is that one app you hate but end up using? Uh, TikTok sometimes. <laughs> okay. So I I'm there on TikTok, but uh, I must have had some 15, 20 uploads. Most of it is original content just to see how, you know, being an online, uh, you know, we do a lot of stuff on Facebook, Instagram and all that. So we thought, uh, you know, why don't we try TikTok also? But somehow uh, it didn't work. No, my mom calls me Ritu sometimes, uh, but uh, not my wife. My wife That's called me. My my is a secret code which he is not revealing because he'll be called by that name. Nay, the thing is, uh, you know, this is a secret. So if, uh, uh, you know, if she calls, Ritesh, where are you? That means there is something wrong. class no, okay. Kuch <laughs> to I know. So, it's, uh, you know, she's extremely supportive and, you know, with, you know, being online and, you know, running a group where so many people are there, interacting with them. Uh, you know, there are a lot of people talk a lot of things and, you know, you know, she's, uh, you know, she she takes it in her stride, and you know she's been very supportive at all point of time. Okay, what's your dance move, Ritesh, when you're dancing in the pub, and when you're you know when you end up in these gyms, you know breaking things. I think Ritesh, we lost you for a bit, a moment. British. Hello. Hello. Welcome back. Yep. I think we I lost, lost, lost you for a Yes. So what what's your dance move? What's your favorite dance move? My dance move is very simple. Khade raho ek jagah pe and just huh? Keep moving your leg. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Thanks for being very spontaneous. Uh, <clears throat> if you had world's attention for 30 seconds, what would you tell all of them? The entire world is watching. You have 30 seconds. Don't be normal because normal is boring. Just be yourself at all point of time. Don't live your life to impress somebody. Live your life to impress yourself. Good one. Chalo, so that finishes the rapid fire questions. You've, you've done an awesome job. But yeah, we have audience who are not really agreeing with your answers. Some of them. So yeah, you will have to immediately respond to them. You have some secrets that you want to reveal. Please respond to them after we go uh, offline. Um, now coming to the main question. So what would you do uh, if you become the chief minister of Karnataka? You have a minute to talk about it. Please. Okay. First thing, if I become the chief minister of Karnataka, I'll increase the tenure of being the CM from five years to 10 years. Okay. So all politicians are selfish. So I'll start with being selfish first. So I'm safe. Competition is eliminated for 10 years. Okay. <laughs> Which, uh, you know, uh, Bangalore, uh, you know, we'll work towards improving the nightlife, make sure uh, all the clubs and pubs are open uh, till 6 a.m. so people can party and uh, we'll make sure, uh, you know, um, we have a lot of uh, music events uh, that happen across for all sorts of uh, music lovers. If somebody likes DJ nights, we'll, ha we'll have more of that classical music because music is something that bonds people across uh, religion and across uh, you know all faiths so that that will improve the unity of uh, the place and baki to kya paisa banayenge bahut paisa banayenge logo ko entertain karenge you know karenge you know we'll make sure i mean i i don't want to say that you know, i'll increase the gdp i'll create so many jobs and all that all that is like uh, you know, real mudda is, you know, life has to be fun for everybody. Make sure, uh, you know, people have a lot of fun and uh, are entertained. 
and are happy i mean uh, the whole idea is to have more happy people in your state than uh, you know there you know what is the point having people with stressful jobs and you know if they're not happy true good one uh, thanks ritesh uh, so yeah anything you want to tell the audience before we end the show uh, it's been an honor uh, uh, being on uh, one minute cm i never thought that i would be getting this privilege to be here and uh, you know probably for the rest of my life i would tell everybody that i came on the show and uh, you know it was it feels really good and um, you know uh, i would love i like to thank brula um, brunalini i hope i got the pronunciation correct uh, for all the all the uh, amazing questions she's asked and uh, priya uh, because of whom i'm there on the show today uh, you know thank you priya and uh, of course the other two three uh, and you know my mom and my family who uh, have asked uh, who have commented and you know we're here so you know thank you so much and uh, you know you know my message is uh, you know i i keep telling this everywhere live and let live don't judge uh, anybody aaram se raho mast raho khao piyo aish karo fit raho meri tarah mat raho i'm not i'm not very fit you know like put on a lot of weight recently and uh, you know i'm going to get back to fitness and uh, you know by the time by, by the end of this year you know probably uh, you'll see a leaner and meaner me that's it from my side thank you so much <laughs> my mom is be very happy is like oh patla hone wala hai abhi <laughs> good one but it's an okay, one one secret i should say on my okay. facebook uh, i shared a link uh, of 2017 around the same time may where i'd lost 40 kilos weight i used to weigh 125 kgs and then i came all the way down to 80 kgs now i'm like somewhere around thoda 80 se zyada 90 se zyada i need to come back to what i was so i used to be like really huge 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 so you know my waistline was 53 and got it to 30 35 wow that's so you know that that whole article of how i lost weight and how i was inspired and what i did is there on uh, facebook so the priya say she seen my weight loss uh, post so you know that is so that's that's going to start again you know i'm just waiting for the gyms to open up actually i started going to the gym from 15th uh, march the 21st ko lockdown ho gaya yaar <laughs> so i'm like so what ye kya hai you I mean, guys are like i thought okay by now i should have lost some 10 kg's weight dekha to these guys just uh, you know shut off the gyms only dritesh ne chalo kiya humne band kar diya <laughs> good one but yeah uh, ritesh thanks for taking time out uh, and you know doing this you know this this entire show is about people with passion jo hatke karte hain people who are just not going to office and coming back uh, living their passion you know uh, influencing others so thanks for taking time it, it's really an honor that you know we have somebody uh, here and uh, thoda hatke and uh, your you know posts are also inspiring us so keep spreading positivity make people laugh and you know entertain them you know uh, you. i will recommend a lot of other users also who are like minded to join this particular group and uh, i am also honored to be part of this particular group thank so you. thanks a lot ritesh and uh, you have a great rest of the evening and thank you friends for joining in uh, do watch the show any anything which you disagree with what ritesh has mentioned please do comment and mention that you do disagree with that comment let him respond back to that uh, <laughs> thank you all thank you so much thank i mean i thank uh, you know everybody who's watching this for watching it and uh, do share smiles and uh, keep smiling thank you thank you all thank you ritesh bye bye bye